Hey guys, Veo3 Fast is now out on Leonardo AI. And if you guys remember, we did a, a video about a month ago or so where we compared Veo3 Normal versus Veo3 on Flow. Um, Veo3 Normal, I mean on Leonardo versus Veo3 Flow on Google. And it kind of failed miserably. Let's see how Veo3 Fast does. So, um, well, first of all, I'm Brian of the Creative AI Show. Um, I co-host it with my buddy Rosh. And I uh, really appreciate you watching these videos. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. All right, let's see how how Leonardo AI did today with its Veo3 fast release. So we are doing the full to high quality 1080p. Um, it uses 2000 credits per generation, which their credit, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I've got some that rolled over from previous ones. So I had plenty in the bank here. And um, I also use, you know, the um, Veo3 fast in flow. So let's compare a few scenes. First of all, this scene, I wanted to do a physics kind of test of a glass marble rolling down a wooden spiral sp uh, spare case, slow motion, realistic bouncing off each step and you know what it kind of missed the mark on the first one it looks like the ball kind of dissolved now it stopped now it magically went back up um, now the staircase looks great the windows look great the lighting looks really good but the physics are off um, the sound also isn't bad so we will be comparing sound on each one of these against each other um, so I'd say it started out with like a B here. I mean, it kind of is fun, but you know, it's almost like it's a remote control marble that can suddenly jump stairs. So it missed the mark a little bit here, but all in all, the quality of the generation, look at the grain on the staircase. It looks pretty good. So, you know, you're off to an okay start. I wouldn't say it's great. Let's compare the same prompt here on Veo uh, 3 on Google Labs, and let's see what we got. So suddenly there's two marbles, one of them disappears. The other one does go slow motion. It kind of jumps off the edge, but at least it's not jumping back up the stairs. Again, the wood grain looks good. The lighting coming in from the windows is good. Um, the prism inside the marble all looks good. I even like the shadows and stuff that are happening. So except for that one distortion right there, the rest of the clip is actually pretty usable. Um, I would still put flow in the lead, but it's not nearly as much of a discrepancy of when we last compared Leonardo versus um, Veo3 full, um, or quality as they call it in flow. So we're off to a good start. All right, so this next scene, I wanted to do a, um, an elderly man playing violin. Um, playing violin on a busy street corners people walk by a young child stops to listen drops a coin in the case and the musician winks and nods gracefully scene captures subtle facial expressions and natural crowd movements so let's take a peek and see how this one did now first thing i want to note here is the sound is actually very consistent with the motion of his hand playing violin now i can't tell you if the notes are exactly right on his hand and his hand does distort just a little little bit but I want to say that his facial expressions look great. Um, I think his face might be exaggerated a touch. And is this kid giving coins or is he stealing? I think the kid might be stealing the coins instead of giving. He's got nothing in his hand. He reaches in, pulls out a coin, pretends to put it back in, and then walks away with a coin. So a little bit of an inconsistency there. And then also he's playing this cool black, black violin. We're used to seeing his violin case be empty. And then he's got another violin sitting in the case. So Leonardo, you got two strikes on this one. Otherwise, let's look at the kind of the background, the cars going by, realistic motion of the people walking behind. Um, maybe their faces aren't so defined, but you got depth of field here where the old man is kind of the center point of the uh, shot. Otherwise, this could definitely look like a normal, natural kind of New York City street corner, especially with the quantity of taxis going by. Um, I like that you got a bus, you had taxis of a couple different sizes. Um, so all in all, pretty good. I think this was better than Leonardo's first generation, but still not perfect. Let's see how Google Flow did with this. Again, same exact prompt, same exact engine, but this is going to be Leonardo versus Flow, Google's actual hosting platform. So let's see how this guy does. Hand motion again is good with the music. She comes up, she's got a coin, and I don't know if she puts it in so much. Let's see. She shows him the coin. He's happy about it. Let's say she drops it in. Let's put a, this one a little ahead of the curve. Again, we've got another violin sitting in the open case, which I don't know, maybe he just brings two violins out when he performs. So, um, but his facial expressions are great. His fingers look really good, which is tough for AI to get. Um, there's four strings on the violin. There's four tuner stocks, so that's all good. Um, the people walking in the background look excellent. Not as facially distorted as they were on Leonardo. 
Um, but still, outside of just a couple little details, I want to see that coin actually drop in the case. And I want the case to be empty. Maybe I could do a little extra prompting to get there, but if Leonardo was a B plus, this one's like an A minus. So Flo, Flo is in the lead again, but it's not as big of a difference as when we compared the full versions. So we're doing pretty good here, Leonardo. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. If you're somebody who's only subscribed to Leonardo and you want to start using the fast version, and again, what you do, you click model. It's got its own models. There's the full deal, VO3, and then here's VO3 fast, which again came out today. And it lets us do 1080, which is great. So that's really important. All right, these last two scenes I thought were simpler, but they were stunning. They were very, very good. Um, so let's see here. So so the, the prompt is an abandoned greenhouse, vines have overgrown, broken glass panels, dust particles dance in the shades of golden light, while a single red rose blooms among the decay. A gentle breeze causes leaves to rustle and light shifts naturally. So we're not getting any gentle breeze or anything like that. Actually, I wouldn't, I'd say the rose maybe moves a little bit. Let's listen to the sound. Now, it started it out with some broken glass, which if we're not actually seeing a piece of glass fall, I'm not a big fan of that. But... The light coming in looks fantastic. Um, the rose looks really good. I like how you've actually kind of got a dead rose next to it and another one about to bloom. So really good detail there. Outside of the broken glass, I'm ready to give this one an A or even an A+. Plus. I love the light coming in here. I love this golden hour kind of look. I wish we had a little more of a gentle breeze moving the vines and stuff based on the prompt. But all in all, Leonardo, you keep getting better. Uh, I mean, you remove the sound of the broken glass, and this scene is pretty much perfect. It looks really good. Um, let's see how Google Flow did with the same prompt. Sorry from the beginning. I like the ominous kind of sound of the music. We've got a little bit of a distortion here, but we, maybe we can call that a lens flare or something. Um, you got a single rose, not on a full rose tree, so I actually think Leonardo did better on that. But let's keep looking. We kind of, the camera goes right past the rose. I could easily see this as an opening scene to a movie where it's like an apocalyptic movie, but there's hope because you got the red rose there, but everything else is broken and not working. Um, really, really good, high quality outputs from both Veo3 Fast on Flow and then also on Leonardo. So uh, I guess it all depends on how complex you want to get with these scenes. Um, I do wish actually looking at it again that this red rose here was a little more in focus as we got up. It kind of remains blurry. The focus of the shot kind of remains beyond the rose, but still not bad at all. Um, so if you if you are a fan of Leonardo and you've got credits on there, I, I definitely suggest I'd say use Veo3 Fast. I mean, it looks super good. So um, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. And also every Every Monday, Rosh and I do the Creative AI Show, where we talk about 20, 30 minutes about all the latest releases, just like this one, um, in the world of AI and uh, how you can use it to help affect your creative endeavors and to help your clients. So please um, keep watching. And uh, until then, we're two creative guys talking AI.